Hey parents, how you doing? David here. Hope you're having a great week. You know, when I reflect on my days as a youth pastor, I can remember a question that would come up a lot when I was asking students to follow Jesus no matter the call. And that question was always something really bizarre. It'd be something like, what if God calls me to Africa? Or what if God calls me across the world to live in the bush? I don't want to do that. Well, the answer was always the same. What if God calls you to do that? Shouldn't you be obedient no matter what God calls you to do? I know that Psalm 37, 4 says that God will ultimately give you the desires of your heart. And if your desires are not there, why would he call you to do that? I'm reminded that uh, in, in the Bible, Abram followed the same problem. God called him to a place that he didn't know to start a people that he wasn't even aware of. He didn't even think he was going to be able to have kids. And yet he trusted God. I think that's really what would be great for us to continue to reinforce in the life of our kids, that no matter your circumstances, no matter your hardships, or no matter if you even see the end goal in mind, God calls us to trust him and believe in him. And the results will always be positive. They'll always be for God's glory. So I hope you're reminded and I hope you're encouraged by that this week. Two things I want to encourage you to do, something tangible that you can do. First, if you watch this video, maybe take it a step further. I want to challenge you to maybe uh, help your kids learn a Bible verse this week. I'm going to suggest that you take Galatians 3, 6. I've got that right here on a postcard. Maybe do the same or if crafty moms out there want to uh, do something really cute and special, but maybe you could take a, a card, tape it on your kid's mirror. And the, the verse this week is Galatians 3, 6, and it says this. Abraham believed God and was counted to him righteousness. What a great thing for you to reinforce with your kids that if you trust God and believe God, ultimately it's going to be counted to you as righteousness as well. That's a good place to be. So take that on your mirror, put it in your car uh, or wherever your kids like to hang out. And maybe every day when they're brushing their teeth or as you're eating dinner, encourage them to learn that verse over the next week. The second thing I want to encourage you to do, if you haven't started uh, reading scripture with us every day throughout this year, you're not too late. Go down and download the Read Scripture app. If you have an iPhone, it's in the App Store. It's absolutely free, and it's an incredible app. It reminds you to read every single day, but there's more to it. There's, there's videos in there that will help you understand the bigger picture of the Bible, and I just want to encourage you to jump on board with us. Be a part of it. Get your kids, maybe find ways to read with your kids this week. I'm excited about stories that we can hear uh, through things like this and uh, look forward to being with you again next week. Have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.